Welcome back to Cord Cutters LI where we help to save you money on your cable bill. A question I've been asked quite a lot is, can you connect a fire stick or another streaming device to your computer? At first my thought was why would you need to, since most of the popular streaming services like Netflix, Prime Video, YouTube TV, Pluto, Tubi, yada yada yada, will all play just fine in your web browser on your PC. But what if we're talking about all of your favorite third party apps? You know the apps I'm talking about. Like the one that starts with SYN and ends with HD, or the one that starts with B and ends with TV? Those apps only work on streaming devices like the Fire Stick. Well, what if I was to tell you, yes, you can connect your streaming device to your laptop or PC, and with the method I'm going to teach you today, you'll have built-in DVR capability with unlimited storage at the same time. This is pretty easy to set up, but it's not just done by plugging in your Fire Stick into an empty hole in your computer. In this video, I'm going to walk you through it step by step. I'll tell you exactly what you need and you'll have it set up in no time. So if you're ready to learn, I'm ready to show you how to do it. So sit back, relax, and let's go. All right, so here I have the Fire Stick 4K Max first generation. Just to show you here what you can't do, most computers or laptops especially have HDMI ports on them. So you might think that you can just go ahead and plug this um, Fire Stick right into the HDMI port, but you can't. Most of these HDMI ports on laptops and computers are outputs um, used to connect to a, a TV or a monitor or whatever. So we can't do that. But what we can do is get this inexpensive HDMI video capture USB device. It has an input and an output. So basically you plug this into the USB port on your computer. I'm going to disconnect my mouse. Plug it into the other side, and then we can go ahead and we plug the uh, Fire Stick into the input of this device, and then plug that into the USB port. We do still need power, so we'll plug in the power for the Fire Stick over here. And there you go. So that's the setup that we're going to need to do this. So the next thing we're going to do is go to the internet, open up Google Chrome. And we're going to go ahead and search for OBS Studio Download. It'll be on the top. It's obsproject.com download. We can go ahead and click on that. We want the version for Windows. And we'll just go ahead and click on Download Installer. So when that gets done, we can go ahead and run it. That's the software that's going to allow your Fire Stick to interface with the computer properly um, as a video input source using the video capture card that we have. So you just let that installation run. You accept all the default prompts, no problem. Okay, so we can go ahead and close the browser, that's installed, and we can just go ahead and open up Launch OBS Studio. I don't think it really matters which one you choose here, but I'm going to go ahead and pick Optimize just for recording. And we can go ahead and do that. Accept all the defaults. In fact, one of the defaults here is 1280 by 720. I'm going to change that when I get in there. So let me quickly go into settings. I'll maximize this screen. I'm going to go into settings. And I'm going to go to video and I'm going to set the output for 1920 by 1080. So it records 1920 by 1080. That's basically full HD. And go ahead and click OK. All right. So the next thing we need to do is just add this video capture device as an input into OBS Studio. So I've already connected and I've powered up the Fire Stick. Just for kicks, I'm going to go ahead and hit the home button. We're not going to see it yet until I add this capture card. The little plus inside of the sources um, section here, we want to hit the plus button and we want to do video capture device. And then we can just, we can rename that or we can just leave it alone. That's fine. This is going to be the only device we're going to use. So we can just leave that and click OK. Hi. So what you can do here is change this to USB video. And as you can see, there you go. That's the Fire Stick that's on the screen. Click OK. 
And then the last thing we want to do is go down to here um, in the audio mixer settings and we'll click on these little three dots here and go into advanced audio properties. And for the video capture device, we want to change this to monitor and output and click close. So as you can hear that, that's going to allow the sound to come through the, the device. The last thing we need to do is just right click over here and do full screen projector preview. Display 1920 by 1080. And good. So now we have a full screen for our Fire Stick. Let's just go ahead and open up one of the apps. And we'll go ahead and play a video. Welcome back to Cord Cutters Live, where we help to save you money on your cable. So, so the last thing I wanted to show you is if you want to set this up to record video, let's say you, uh, you, know, you have one of those third-party apps that I spoke about earlier and you want to record something that you're playing, you can go ahead and do that. Let me go ahead and I'll rewind this to the beginning. And then click the Start Recording button. So this is now recording Welcome back to court. whatever it is that you watch until you press the Stop button. Well, back in early December, I brought you a video on fire os 8 devices in that video i explained how it looked like amazon had done away with that new i'm going to hit stop recording once you start the recording of course you could go back to full screen and watch it but basically you have a fully functioning fire stick connected to your computer in this case i have it connected to a laptop but you can connect it to a desktop whatever has a usb port you know an available usb port on your any computer basically um, Macs as well. There is an OBS version for Mac. I am not a Mac guy at all, uh, so it'll be Windows for me. But that's all there is to it. Now let me hit the Escape button, and let's go into Settings real quick because I want to show you where uh, the settings are saved. Basically, the recording path is C users, me, I'm the user on the computer, and then uh, videos. So if we search for that, let's open that up. videos and there is the video that we just recorded let me go ahead and play it for you there you go that wasn't so bad now was it if you managed to stay with me this far, please put a comment down there below the video with hashtag CordCuttersLI and I will heart your comment. I realized the recording of what you just saw was a little rough around the edges. I'm going to start making some tutorial videos that might seem somewhat outside the box and a little different from what you might see from other YouTubers in this space. So with all that being said, if you would like to see me make some videos showing you how to do something that you've been having trouble with, please do reach out to me either by email at info at cordcuttersli.com, in the comments section below, or even on my Facebook page, my Rumble page, Twitter, all at cordcuttersli.com, all with the same name. So if you enjoyed anything you saw here today, please go ahead and like the video, subscribe to my channel, and most of all, share this in all of your favorite Cord Cutters Ally videos with your friends. This not only helps to get my video shown to more people, it also helps to support the channel so I can bring you more great content to help you save money on your cable bill. Thanks for watching.